What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So, before I get to the video, man, y'all know what to do. Go ahead and smash the like on the video. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So, actually, before I do get into the video, man, make sure y'all go watch my other video that I did with my series debut. Um, it's something I'm really excited about, and it's something I hope that y'all are excited about. It's a way for us to kind of come together and do and kind of make the most out of Madden, make it uh, a lot more fun for us. So, anyways, hopping into the video, uh, we got right here Empty Watch Saint, which is what I believe to be one of the best empty formations in the game, honestly. Um, it's right up there with Empty Munch. I still like Empty Munch a tiny bit more, but it's right up there. So, for personnel, I like to have my fast receiver where DK Metcalf is. And I'll put my, maybe my best route runner right here. And then in, in this spot, it don't really matter. I just like speed, of course. Um, you want speed in this spot, I should say. Um, but this will come when I break down zone. So, right now, I'm just showing you what to do against man coverage and the plays that I like to attack um, the man meta. So, right here, um, you do want somebody with speed right here. And I'll explain that in part two. So, as you know, it's going to be two parts. So, the plays that I do want to go over is going to be wide stick. It's going to be Saints in. And it's going to be Saints flood. So, I'll go and show you what they look like. Right here, we got wide stick. Then, right here, we got um, Saints flood. And then, finally, we'll wrap it up with Saints in. And, of course, I will have gameplay with this. So, y'all should not have to worry about that so right now i want to start with white stick now i'm gonna come out in nickel normal just because a lot of times people come down in a three down line in front um i'll show you what i like to do against that you can still pass against it no problem with this offense but if you want to um force them to come out in a 4d lineman set i'll show you what to do and right here for the personnel that i have i have it set up like it, they'll typically have it so i got a good slot corner right here with speed i put a safety in right here who's pretty fast and of course nobody's gonna take patrick queen out and you got jimmy smith and Chuck Clark up top. So this is why I chose um, this particular team because they're one of the best man coverage teams besides the Patriots. But I didn't want to show the Patriots just because um, their linebackers and stuff are not good and their other backup safeties aren't really all that either. But anyways, um, so I do want to show you all the audibles real quick where you can audible down. So you see right here where you can go to, um, you can run Troy Rout Flex inside zone. If they didn't know how to blow that up, you can abuse that. Um, another good audible down, you have gun stack wide flex, which has a really great inside zone out of it. And you also have um, you also have tight offset tight end. You could put 0-1 trap right there, so that'll be something that's real good if they're in a three down line in front. Or you can always go with um, single back wild trio. And I'm pretty sure they have a dive in there. I didn't go look, but I'm pretty sure they have a dive in there of some sort. And you also got single back doubles, which has a dive, and I believe they have a stretch. So that's how kind of how I like to get my opponent out of a three down lineman set. And but worst case scenario, you can still run this offense just as efficiently with three down linemen. It's just you know a lot easier if you have don't have as many DBs out there. But anyways, uh, let's get into watch stick right here. So right here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like if they're not putting purples with their safeties. So what I like to do, I like to take Carson right here, put him on a zig route. And I like to motion that zig route in. And then I like to take X. I like to put him on a streak. And then I'll take, uh, oh, no, no, my bad. I, I said that wrong. Um, yeah, yeah, put X on a flat, excuse me. And then I have to put R1 on a slant. So it should look like this. So this is good because this X is going to pull down um, zones on the right. And the zig is going to pull down zones on the left. So now the zig, as you know, can beat man coverage. So let me go ahead and put the rush moves icon on this right side so i want you to look at this left side so of course it's a zig route so it's gonna break off man nine times out of ten as you can see right there so boom you know get a get a few get a few yards and a lot of times in in game they're not gonna cover it that tight so let's go back to wide stick right here put square on a zig route motion them in and now this is great if you have like a um christian mccaffrey type of running back saquon because they're gonna get really good separation so put x on the flat then you want to take uh r1 put them on a slant now a lot of times you can have this backside um deep route open if they start putting purples and that's something that you can watch out for but that's square read now i'm gonna show you uh triangles read look how it breaks off his man so you see boom look at that uh, a lot of times you're gonna get a lot a lot more separation at, and that's philip dorsett you know he's not even the best route runner so right here i'm gonna show you uh one more time and i'm gonna show you some gameplay of me running this so let's go to wide stick put him on a zig route motion him in uh put x on the flat route put r1 on the slant now i'm gonna go ahead and show you what purple so the good thing um the reason why this won't really work for this defense, for this offense, I should say, is look at, um, let me move the icon. So look at R1's route. You see how it runs at about the 40, maybe 46, maybe that is, where it finally extends. And now you see the post by Philip Dorsett, how that one goes at about the 55. So you see how they're on completely different levels. So they would have to do some kind of combination of a curl flat, 
they'd have to do like some type of com combination like this where they adjust their zones in different ways because these routes are ran at completely different depths so there's no way that they'll be able to just use one particular zone like they wouldn't be able to just do this and cover the whole field you know what i'm saying like there would be a gap that you can hit so that's just something that you have to notate and then everything on the field like i said it's going to be the user you can beat them with the zig route you can beat them with the slant or you can beat them with the post so right here i'm just going to run it and i'm going to show you uh the slant of course and after this i'm going to show you some gameplay so as you see right there i can pass lead it up and then a lot of times you can score off that All right, so next play that I do want to show you is going to be the Saints Flood. So you can see Saints Flood right here. Now, the thing I like to do with Saints Flood, I like to do the same motion my running back. So as you remember uh, the last setup, we had him on a zig. Now we have him on a motion slant. And this motion slant cannot get pressed. So that's going to get open pretty much automatically. And now I'm trying, instead of him running a post, he's running a corner route. And that corner route is going to toast man coverage. Now with X, I like to do the same thing and put him in a flat just to move the defender out the way. And if they start playing zone and stuff like a man zone, you're not sure. This is a great concept as well. So let me go and show you this backside slant. Uh, not slant, but the uh, corner route. So look, um, that time they guarded it real well. But a lot of times they're going to break him off. And keep in mind, that is Philip Dorsett. He's not the best route runner by any means. So right here, let's go back to Saints Flood. And let me make sure I show you this time. So let's see press over the top. Now, uh, keep in mind that the slot receiver can't get pressed. So the only way they'll deal to press the slot receiver is they manually bring them down, which most people won't do. So right here, I'm going to see if I can show you that backside uh, corner route again. You see right there, we do get a little separation. Now, I promise in game, they're not going to be playing at that type. It will be open nine times out of ten because they're not going to have great DBs all over the field like that unless you're playing Mutt. But even in Mutt, you'll have a better receiver running it. So if you see what I'm saying there. So going to press shade over the top. And I just wanted to kind of show you that that, um, that corner route does get open. So now I want to show you this slant route right here. So then give me motion. Look at that. He just doesn't get pressed at all. So um, I'll go back and replay and just show you real quick because I don't want to keep running it over and over again. And then I'll show you a little gameplay of me running it. So let's go into replay. And so I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So watch how he's responsible. He's responsible for him, right? So there's no way he's going to be able to get a press on that because where he's lined up at. So he's going to get a free release. And that's going to be a that's going to be a completed pass all day. So the users are going to have to decide between this slant. Or he's gonna have to decide between this corner, as you can see right there, as I got separation from my person. So, um, yeah, that's really that's pretty much it on that play. But I do want to show something real quick on it before I show y'all gameplay. So I'm going to motion them over now. Y'all remember I was talking about how they can't guard it uh, with using one of these. They can't drop two purples and guard um, these two concepts either because if you look, they ran at completely different levels. So the corner routes ran more at like the 40. 46 maybe I would say and the slant is ran at about 42 so they're on completely different levels so it's gonna be hard for them to have to get the zones right and then the user is gonna be thinking that post is coming and now we got a slant and it's just gonna be all kind of headache so right real quick I'll just run it one more time just to show you that that backside slant is not gonna get pressed he dropped it but uh, check out this gameplay of me using it All right, now the last uh, play that I do want to talk about versus man coverage is going to be the Saints end right here. So the reason I like this play is just because we're going to utilize the same motions as we do like our zone beaters, but it's going to be a man coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take X, put him on a drag, and all I'm going to do is motion him over. Now in part two, you'll see we utilize this motion over where I tied in. Uh, it's almost essential in what we run. So this right here is a great counter to... Um, because eventually your opponent's gonna start trying to play on the three receiver side because we're gonna be attacking that side so much because there's so many beaters and so many zone concepts that can beat uh, a lot of zones. So right here, uh, your reads are simple. You're gonna read the backside drag, which will be open nine times out of 10. You got an in route, as long as you have a good matchup with R1 where Tyler Lockett is, and you also got the deep dig. So wherever the opponent wants to go user, you just throw it where he's not. So let's say, you know, look how X just burns his man. And I'm going to kind of show you how all these get open. Then I'll show you me gameplay. And then that will be the video. So let's go and go back to man coverage. Um, not man coverage. Let's go back to um, Saints end right here. Uh, put X on the drag. Motion them over. And now let's you know, make sure we press. Call over the top. 
you know, all that good stuff. And now I'm going to show you the R1 read. So as long as you have a good matchup with R1, that out route will work. So you see even uh, Patrick Queen guarded it, but like I said, in practice mode, uh, they be they're, they're play clips for some reason. Um, so it's really hard to get some of these routes open that will be open in the game mode. So that's one thing you do have to keep in mind that if you see a matchup like that where you got a linebacker on Tyler Lockett, that's going to be your read now, Tyler saying because the game mode, they're not going to let them guard them like this. So I'm going to try it one more time. So you see right there, we do get a possession catch, but just pay attention to your matchups because, like I said, they'd have to match up. They have to have a God Squad team to be able to like pretty much stop the scheme using man coverage, and they have to be able to uh, know exactly what they're doing. So let's go ahead and drag them. So uh, now I want to show you um, Philip Dorsett's route, which is just a deep in route, but a lot of times it can win depending on the matchup. So as you see right there, all we do is a low ball, and we're able to catch that. So a lot of times backside in routes are going to kill man coverage as long as you have a good matchup. So let's go to Saints um, Saints in one more time, and the one thing I will tell you, just make sure that you watch out for the streak route. You know. Because sometimes it can be open. Right here, I'll try to throw it. I haven't been throwing it all video, but um, as you notice, I always leave one streak route. Because a lot of times when they start dropping those safeties down, you just need to win, you know. So right there, I don't get the win, but it's just something to keep note of, you know. So just keep note of who the matchup is, personnel, and everything like that. So um, real quick, I do want to show one more. I do want to show it one more time. Um, then I show some gameplay because another thing that you can do if you wanted to, you could take square and put them on an end route like this. Now you have a complete flood on this right side so because the stock route that squares on won't be man coverage so i'll show you that real quick then i'll show you some gameplay that it can get open as you see right there uh it just depends on who's running the route i should say But all right, that's gonna wrap up for this video for part one. And if you enjoyed this, man, like I said, please drop a like. It helps me so much in the YouTube algorithm. So uh, that's pretty much all. Make sure you stick around for part two. It should be coming out in a couple days here. So uh, y'all have a blessed day. I'm Rage Rail, and I'm out.